Welcome back. On the typical work day, when the clock strikes six, office workers pack up and leave. But the ones who stay late will notice others hard at work. When the typical workday ends, theirs begins. Armed with a host of tools, they spread out across all areas of an office building. They empty trash, polish floors, and fearlessly clean those germ-engulfed bathrooms until they shine like new. They are commercial cleaning crews, and the ones known to deliver top-notch service are highly prized and highly successful. For Sunny Park, cleaning has paid off well. He runs what many consider a top-shelf private cleaning company, but it was success by default, a company born out of the desire to help others in need of employment. His story in today's Executive Profiles. So, Sonny, you've been in this country now 40 years. You are by far my favorite immigrant success story. Tell the story, Sonny. Well, I, I love the American people. I love America. I love the 40 years. And it's been phenomenal for my life and my community. So you came here and you landed where? Indianapolis, Indiana. Why in the world did you go to Indianapolis? I went to school there, in Indianapolis. And there was a college, so I had to win. But you had been working also while you were in school. I was. Actually, the, the, the day I arrived, and I found my job. At, so I arrived at about 4 o'clock in the afternoon on a, September 16, 1974. And then about 8 o'clock that evening, I found a job. Doing what? I was doing sweeping and mopping the steakhouse kitchen. And as you went through school, you changed jobs? I did. I was, uh, later I'd become a waiter of a nice steakhouse, and then later I started selling life insurance. And you had a successful experience in life insurance? I sure did. That, uh, with, a, with a broken English, I still speak in, uh, imperfect English, but uh, my English was about 15% good. But I was selling life insurance with the broken English to Indiana farmers. And when you graduated, you were the number one salesman. I was. And they moved you to Atlanta, correct? I did. And I was selling life insurance, and I become a sort of volunteer uh, for the community, Asian American community. There were a lot of people need a job, and so I volunteered to help them to find a job. And later, I have too many, so many people need a job, I couldn't find a job for them. So I started, started checking uh, if I can help them and then I pray about it and then in 1983 after five years I moved here and then general building maintenance my janitorial service company was born just to help them. Help how did them. it start? How did your company start? I, I just went out and then I had a t 12 people need a job immediately and then I just print out print out my business card and and then uh, cold call I just made out and just like I did, I, I was doing a, a life insurance sales, and I go out and knock on the doors of uh, office buildings. And then uh, after about three months, and I found one contract, small contract, only needed three people. I put all 12 people in the complex, and the place become immaculate, it's so clean, and then I become hero. I was losing money, but the building was clean. So you had one building, 12 employees, Talk about the growth of your company. After 30 years, almost 31 years now, we never hired a salesman. Our marketing budget goes into the floor with the operating budget. We improve, we, we, we perform uh, better than any others. So the customer like us, so our customer uh, become our sales force. Quality. Quality, word of mouth, and people talk about us and how, that's how we grew. How big is your operation now? We're now in the 18 major cities in the United States. 18 cities in yes, the country? Yes, sir. How many total employees? We have more than all together with the subconscious employee and our employees together, about 3,200. 3,200 employees. Great story. Now, let's, let's talk about your, um, your love of the United States and your intent to pay taxes. I had a big plan. One day, one day, I will become a successful businessman, and then uh, what, how are you going to measure the success? And then I thought, pay more tax. One day in my life in the United States, I'll 
pay $1 million as an income tax per year. And what year did you start paying a $1 million? Tax? It was 1997, first year I reached my goal and pay $1 million tax in, in a year, a uh, yearly income tax. And ever since then, I've been paying more than a million. And then you've become the Metro Chamber's Small Business Person of the Year. Ab absolutely. That wasn't so totally surprised, but uh, the people recognized my effort. And the Junior Achievement Business Hall of Fame. Well, Junior Achievement and Atlanta Business Chronicle also induct me to the Business Hall of Fame. That was an amazing thing for my life. So what's the secret of your success, Sonny? Is it your magnetic personality? Is it your drive? Is it your love of people? What, what, what's the secret sauce? I think if people look at me as a truthful, I want to be honest with myself and make sure, remind myself of who I am. And I think that bring down to the people the heart-to-heart -heart connection. Mm -hmm. So when I say something, people know that's the truth. What recommendations would you give to um other immigrants from other communities since Atlanta is so multicultural and, and so diverse? I like to see them to think about how can they help the one neighbors and right. community and neighboring schools and when they see something goes wrong with the country instead of a blaming I want them to see what can I do or what can we do so this country need to be taken care of by the people and we immigrants are one of them at the same time I like to see immigrants and American people to preserve and improve and maintain the American value we have. You are a great Korean American. I am proud to call you my friend. Thank you very much. I thank much. you. Appreciate it. Sonny Park advocates the need for youth to get educated and that's where he focuses most of his contributions. He refers to the adage, give someone a fish and they eat for a day. Teach someone to fish and they eat for a lifetime. And Sonny says there are lots of fish just waiting to be caught. Well, coming up, Patrick.